Hi everyone, in my last post, you saw a set of interview style questions around Azure Virtual Machines. Today, I'm creating a short video to explain the first question in detail. A virtual machine is stuck in the updating state for over 30 minutes. How would you resolve it? Let's dive into it. When a virtual machine in Azure shows the status as updating, it usually means that one of its properties is being modified. This could be something related to compute settings, storage, or networking. Under normal conditions, the VM should go back to a healthy state once the backend update completes successfully. You can see this updating status from the Azure portal, especially in the VM blade under the overview section. You can also check it using Resource Graph Explorer, PowerShell, or Azure CLI. This status is technically called the provisioning status. Now, if the VM stays stuck in this updating state for more than expected, here's how you can resolve it. First, try using the reapply operation on the virtual machine. You can do this from the Azure portal, CLI, or PowerShell. This command reapplies the VM's configuration without causing any downtime and often helps reset the provisioning state back to normal. If that doesn't work, the next approach is to trigger a small change to the VM or its associated resources. You can update a tag on the VM or make a small network change, like switching the IP assignment on the VM's NIC from dynamic to static or vice versa. These actions trigger the Azure Fabric to reprocess the VM state, which might fix the issue. Another option is to restart the Windows Azure guest agent from inside the virtual machine. This sometimes helps in clearing the stuck provisioning status as well. If you're still seeing the issue after that, a more advanced fix is to redeploy the VM. This moves the virtual machine to a new physical server in the Azure backend. You can also try performing a stop and start operation. In many cases, this resets the backend state and resolves the issue. Uh, these are some of the most common solutions that we use in the field. In my experience, this problem is often due to issues within the Azure fabric and not necessarily something misconfigured by the user. I've seen this happen, especially after increasing the VM size, uh, attaching large disks, or when the VM is part of an availability set or has accelerated networking enabled. But if you've tried all these steps and the issue still isn't resolved, then the best step is to raise a support request with Microsoft. Their support team can escalate the issue uh, to the product development team who can apply any necessary backend fixes. Usually the updating state gets resolved within an hour or two, but if it doesn't, it's important to involve Microsoft support as early as possible. Now let's quickly discuss how this updating state affects your virtual machine. Most of the time, it doesn't impact the VM's connectivity or its day-to-day -day operations. However, some Azure native services like uh, Azure Backup, Site Recovery with ASR, Monitoring, or Update Manager might start to fail. That's because those services rely on accurate VM status information. And if the provisioning status is stuck, they might mark the VM as failed or inconsistent. I hope this explanation helps you understand how to troubleshoot and resolve the updating status in Azure VMs. This is useful not just in real-time troubleshooting, but also in interviews and practical project discussions. If you need more help or want to know how I can assist your team on your, on your cloud journey, feel free to reach out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.